in this video I'm going to show you how to take the three images, your image through the blue filter, Z filter, and R filter that you've already gone in, you've adjusted the background level so that the background is as black as you can get it. You want to take those three images and convert them into a color image. And the approach is going to be for each image, copy it, and the first time we're going to paste that copy as a new image. And what I'm going to do right away in this layers dialog for the new image is label it with the filter I just copied from so that I don't forget what filter that corresponds to because in a little bit I'm going to have to color these and I want to make sure I put in the right color for the right filter. So I've done the R, let me get that out of the way. Um, next I'll do V, copy it, switch back to my new image, and this time paste as a new layer. What I'm doing by pasting as a layer is putting all of the image all, all of the images into one file in a way that I can combine them. Like with the R filter, I'll change the name of this so that matches the filter I took the image with. One little quirk of GIMP is that when you type a name in for a layer like this, you have to hit return or enter for the name to stick. If you just tab out of the field or something like that, it doesn't stay. And finally, I will do the B filter. Your B filter like image like this one may look a little bit noisy, um, depending on the conditions when the image was taken. It may or um, may not be noisy. And I will paste that into my composite image as a new layer. And again, change the name to B so that I know what it's supposed to be. Okay, so at this point we've got a new grayscale image. You can close all of the, uh, the three original images you have. Um, we've got these three images all in as three different layers in one image. Before I go any further, I want to save this. It uh, doesn't what, matter what you call it, as long as it ends .xcf. Okay, now I've got it saved just in case something goes wrong while I'm editing. I can go back to that older version. The next step is to change this from a grayscale image to a color image. You want to select R, G, and B. And now we need to go through one by one and color each of the layers the right color. Um, to start with that, just to avoid confusion, over in the Layers dialog, click on these eyes over here to turn off the display of all of the layers. And we'll just turn them on one at a time while we're working with it so we don't accidentally color the blue layer red or something like that. I'm going to start with the layer on top here, which is the B filter. Let me turn that one back on. And then up to colors, colorify. Select the color that you want the filter to be. I'd like this one to be blue. If blue doesn't show up in your palette of colors down here, you can click on custom color and um, set the R, G, and B values for um, the color. Okay, so you can see it's showing you a preview of what this is going to look like once it's colored, so click OK. And bam, there you've got a really silly looking image. It's all blue now. I'm going to turn off the blue layer, turn on the V layer, and make sure I click on the V layer. So the V layer needs to be highlighted over in the layers dialog. And colorify this layer. I want it to be green. Uh, you may be able to see also that over here, as I'm adding colors to the layers, the blue layer has been colored blue, the green layer has been colored green. And turn the green layer off, turn on the red layer, and make extra sure to click on the red layer so that it's highlighted. And then colorify it red. 
All right, so now each layer is colored separately. I'll turn all the layers back on, and you do something a little disappointing. We don't get a color image. Um, what's happening now is the blue layer is covering up the green layer, which is covering up the red layer. Um, uh, to make it so that the layers are combined, click on one of the layers in the mode here, change it from normal to screen. And you can see now that I've done that, the colors have changed. Um, I'm getting a mix of blue and green now. So I'll click on the green layer, turn it to from normal to screen. And it would appear that the, let's go one more to the red, change it from normal to screen. So you can see in this particular example, I have not done a particularly good job of coloring the individual images because they've turned out looking this hideous um, purplish color. And it looks like I might not have things aligned perfectly. Um, what I would do now if I wanted to improve the image is go back, reset the, the curves for each of the separate colors and try putting them back together again.